Oh, shucks, everything looks so green in this thing. Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. And we more Gamoras, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank HD. Ah, let's take a sip of tea right there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, this level is amazing. The music for this stage, I think I mentioned it actually, but the music for this stage is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. I'm sat here, I don't believe it. Oh, I don't believe that's I don't believe it's that good, but it's unbelievably good. Welcome to my challenge course. Now is your chance to prove yourself strong and brave, like me. <laughs> Conquer it, and you'll join in my fight against evil. Haven't we done enough already? What? I can't hear you. I said, haven't we done? Sorry, still having trouble. Tell me later. Later? We might be dead by then. What? All right, Clank, let's get going. Mmm. Jesus, look at that place. It was awesome. Anyway. I like how this is a galaxy where this is legal. <laughs> I would love to try a course like this. You know, if I had all the weapons and gadgets, of course. Not using my bare hands, that would be something else. Oh, Just restock here. Hey, you know what? It's not silly money, is it? You know, that guy's quite reasonable. I sorted out my quick select. I don't know how happy you are about that, but I know people watching Resident Evil 4 are always like, Hey, sort out your case. Uh, I did that off camera, of course, you know, backstage stuff, that kind of thing. But now everything's where I normally have it. God, those th those little things, the, the spinny ball thing, well, everything's spinny ball things in this. But um, whilst they look harmless like that, they are like the worst thing on this whole level. Bar maybe the boss in this level. <laughs> oh, there's ammo all over the place. Why don't I buy some? And they sneak up on you. Gosh darn it. Like, if you get seen by them, and spikes come out, and they home in on you and explode, and that, you know, nobody wants that. To this day, I have no idea how to dodge them either. Like, once they've seen you. Once they've locked on. So many bolts. 15k! I got nothing to spend it on. I didn't even check for new weapons. There probably is something to spend it on, but... I'm too stupid! I know ammo. Ammo and gadgets, that's all I want. This is, this is a great example of a... a little puzzle. Shows you what to do in the simplest of terms and then mixes it up. That's the way to do it. The games don't do that anymore. At least not to my knowledge. Games don't have to anymore. You know, you know, there are, there are, I, I, I kind of, I like to think of myself as a pretty open-minded um, kind of guy when it comes to games. Um, you know, which is why I praise things like Call of Duty as much as I praise things like uh, uh, Journey, which I want to come on to. And Journey's a game which um, came out, well, it was quite, a, quite a recent game, and it came to the PlayStation Store a while ago, and I, I got it, and um, it was I was tempted to record it like a first time thing, but I am so glad that I didn't. Um, anyone who's not played it, I would recommend you just get it. Now and stop watching this. You know, just go play it. Come back later and uh, and uh, and share your thoughts about it because it's it's something. It's it's a game that I 
it, it gave me an experience that I've never had before in my life in terms of uh, multiplayer. And that, that barbed wire doesn't even do anything great. <laughs> but yeah, the multiplayer in that is so strange. Um, like, um, for anyone who's unfamiliar with it, you're basically, um, it's hard to even describe what you are. You're like a, uh, sort of a cloaked figure, and uh, you're dumped in this desert, and you see this, like, great, this huge mountain in the distance, and, um, and you basically, you go, you go off and explore it, you go to it, um, and that's, like, the whole motivation for the character, which is more than enough, because visually it's unbelievable, like, you, yeah, it doesn't even need a story, you're in such an, an amazing location all the way through the game, uh, that it doesn't really need much explanation, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I was just playing, I was just playing, I was just having fun, yeah, I'm enjoying the game, it's only a tenner, so, you know, well, how much, how much of a game am I expecting, um, for a tenner? But then all of a sudden the weirdest thing happened, and there was somebody else there, there was another player there. Um, it doesn't tell you somebody's joined, you know, it's, um, it just kind of throws, I mean, I don't, I don't, it's, to this day I don't know how it works, whether you go into someone else's game, or they come into yours, or, or what, I, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, all of a sudden there's somebody else uh, there, and it's the weirdest thing, because at first you're like, well, who is, I don't know who this is, so I'm gonna, you know, am I gonna stick with him? I don't know, I don't know who they are, I don't know anything about him, I've got a reason to stick with him, but um, it's amazing how, as the game goes on, you find yourself wanting to be next to whoever, ow, to whoever it is that's joined. Um, I lost way too much health there. And yeah, by the end of the... I mean, I didn't have the same person with me all the way through the game, but sort of towards the end of the experience that we shared, um, it was getting to the point where we both had an understanding. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't push on ahead if he was, you know, and leave him behind and, you know, he wouldn't do the same to me. Um, look at that! Hiding in the bush! Be a man, and um, yeah. Whenever, whenever the whoever it was was out of sight, I was really panicking because I was like, Jesus Christ! This guy. <laughs> it's, it's it's difficult to explain the the, the emotion um, that comes with it. But great multiplayer experience. I would recommend it to, to anybody who's looking for something a little bit different. Um, certainly, like nothing else I've played before. But yeah, it's got nothing to do with Ratchet and Clank. But um, <laughs> hey, there you go. Just came to mind. Oh, you bombs, you got nothing on me now. What am I gonna spend? I should buy a weapon just for the hell of it, holy bombs. Why not? Oosh. Look at that, I want that one day. <laughs> hey, I'm not vain. I want a star, I want a bronze statue of myself. Or maybe a golden statue. Or I don't know. We'll have to see what's what's available in the future. Hey, how long does this wanna be? I almost expected the snake eater thing to come on there. Yeah, I don't have to get these boxes, but I want these boxes. Come on. Oh, so, in terms of uh, HD remakes, um, I mean, do people agree with putting trophies with them? Ugh. I, don't know, I, I have sort of mixed views on it, really. Uh, whilst I agree that maybe it would attract new people. Um, I think to retain a bit of the charm of the old games, you've got to... Whoa! I would say leave them out. Like, I wasn't really too keen on trophies for... MGS 2 and 3. Um, I mean, I don't know the caliber of trophies that come with sort of Silent Hill, Zone of the Enders, I don't know, but... I don't know, I'm not keen on them, really. I think trophies are for today. Well, achievements, whatever you want to call them, but I think they are, you know, 
They're a modern thing, I don't think you should uh, taint um, all the games with them, really. But, I mean, I understand why they do it. They're never difficult, at least. It's never a massive sort of grind uh, to do them, which I guess is a plus. I mean, you usually get most of them just by doing the pink normally. But hey, I'm not a big trophies guy. Like, I like to platinum a few things. I usually platinum it if it's... You know, if it's a game I really enjoy, like this one. Um, you know, again, at least I'll do it. Just because... You know, it's just... It's another reason in the long list of reasons to play the game. You know, why not? And I'll also do it if it hits easy as well, because, you know, why not? <laughs> if it's so easy that you'd be stupid not to, then yeah, sure, I'll, I'll buy it. But there's no way I'd slave over a game that I'm not enjoying to get a trophy that I don't want. For a reason that I'm not sure of, you know? It's now what gaming is about, man. God, I love how seamlessly you can just switch from gadget to gadget. Wait, 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 no, I didn't want to do that. What am I, stupid? I'm getting ahead of myself. Beautiful. Ace. God, we're making serious progress. It's hard not to steam through this game, I think. We played it a billion million times, which is a lot of times, by the way. A billion million. It's difficult not to. Oh, tell me I don't have to. Uh, I always forget to do that. I'm gonna get the water back. Excellent. At least I think I do. The steps there, so I assume so. I like how every time, every, every time, every time I say, um, "Oh yeah, I'm so familiar with this game," I immediately forget what it is I'm doing. Once I start to think about it, it all goes to shit. Really. Oh my god, there's Quark! This is the end! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, well. You two continue to surprise me. Step into the Ring of Heroes. The Ring of Heroes? Finally give you what you deserve. Ratchet, this is no time for you to become cautious. We have reached our goal. I don't know. There's something. All those grenades and bombs and things trying to kill us Listen just seem to too easy. Listen to your little friend, Ratchet. Your destiny is mere steps away. It's just something doesn't seem right. This is it. Quark is going to help us stop Cheb and Drek. Why, thank you, Clank. You've been most helpful. No! Damn it. Get off of me, you idiot! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together! What do you mean? What do you think he means, genius? He's not gonna help us, he's gonna kill us! You catch on quick. Although there is one problem with your hypothesis. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. He is. <laughs> Oh, much better. But why? That guy looks like a mutated why? quark. It's really not that difficult to decipher. I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. I can't have you two getting in the way of my comeback. This isn't over, Quark. No. But it will be soon. That's a well-delivered line. But it will be soon. Okay, well. 
I'm gonna have to pause it for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank. HD with Morris, and well, I mean, do I need to tell you what's gonna happen in the next episode? It's gonna involve that guy, but hey, I'm not gonna spoil it just yet. <laughs> Uh, but thank you very much for watching, um, I do hope to see you in the next episode, guys. See you later.